Hi. Now let's get our first CTS view for the sales order header table that is for the VBAK. So for that, click leaves, right click on the package or the system, new, other web repository object, type data definition, which is under core data services, click on next. Here, we have to give the name first and then description that is sales order header interface. You can give any name, but just follow some naming convention so that we can easily understand. So here is ZI that is for interface view and description. Next, here we can select a request or create as temp. And here we can select the template. SAP provide predefined templates for the view which we want to create, like define view with join association. So this will give some default syntax with the predefined annotations. So I'm going with define view. Finish. Now here at the top, we can see some text with the at the rate. Those are known as the annotations. Those are predefined by SAP. We can add many more annotations here. And the first one is very important. That is the SQL view name. The view name which we have given here, it is a CTS view name. The view name we have to enter here with this system will create the view in the SC11. So you can give the same name or different name, no issue. So here I'm giving different name ZICTS as a header. Remaining we can keep as it is as of now. And here we have to add our database table name on which we want to create a CDS view. And inside this we can add all the fields. So what I will do from the VBAK table, I will select some of the required field, common field like the key field VBLN, ER date, ER num, then AURT. Okay, some field I will select. So first is my key field that is VBLN. We can also use here the IS name as let's say SO number. Then Then other field I will add here, like next field is ER date. Next field is ER date. And then next I want here ER num AURT. So all the fields we have to add here. ER num AURT. Let's say net WR, that is the amount. Then the currency field WARK. Then the sales of distribution channel division important customer ID, that is Kunnar. And now what I will do, I will use one case statement which is usually not possible in our normal database view. So to make use of case statement from here, what I will do, I will make use of one field that is a delivery confirmation. So here we can see BESTK is the field. If the status is blank, it is not relevant. If it is A, not yet completed process, then partial and then complete. So what we can do, We'll make a case statement for this case B S T K. Now, which case we want to perform here? So this field, let's say 
when it is A, what I want here, when this field is A, then I will cut this temporarily. In case of it is A, I want to print that as not yet proceed. Okay. And then second, when it is B, I want to print that as partially proceed. When B as an issue with my laptop, when B, then it is partially proceed. Okay, and when it is C, then it is completely processed. Else, not relevant, and A as this will come in which column as. DLV that is delivery confirmation. Okay, so imagine this requirement we have in ABAP and we have one lack of record. So, what we have to do first, we have to select this field BSDK, then we have to make a loop, and by comparing the ABC, we have to add this text. But with the CDSU, it is possible to write such case statement directly at the CDS view level. So that whenever you are selecting the data, by default, we can see those details. Okay, so let me add this field also B S T K. Fine. Now this is the way how to create the CDS view. We can give the alias name here, SO number is optional, and we have to select all the fields. And the case statement. After that, save, check, no errors, and activate. Okay, the view is activated. To run this, we can go from here, run as a back application. See, we can see the data here: SO number, ER date, ER num, AURT. All the details you can see here. And see here, for C, it is completely processed. For A, not yet proceed. So without any for, uh, writing any further logic, we can directly fire the case statement. So this is how we are created our first CDS view. Now, to check this view in the SE element, what we'll do? We go back to SE element, and here we have to enter this SQL view name. Okay. So here I have entered that Z ICDS SO header display. So we can see the data here. Fine. But as this CDS view, so we cannot edit through the GUI. See here, we cannot edit here. You can see the long message as well. Fine. So CDS view, we have to CDS view, we have to create through Eclipse only. So in this way, we are done with the creation of our first CDS view. In next session, what we will do, we will create a web program to consume this view and display the data into a web program. Let us see in the next session. Thank you.